Good day, beloveds. Today I want us to have a look at Moses in the wilderness with Israel. And we're going to be looking at the manna. Um, we have to remember, first of all, beloveds, that from Adam to Moses, sin reigned. In other words, sin reigned over Israel and Moses at the time that they were in the wilderness. They were in the desert. And what is the desert, beloved? It's sin. The sand is sin because the sand is earthy and earth is dust. We are buried in the earth, in the sand. Therefore, sand or earth is sin because sand is the thought of the mind, the fleshly mind, the desires of the mind. When they were in the wilderness, they wanted to be fed. And manna reigned from heaven. Beloved, what is manna? In the physical world, manna is very, very sweet. As a matter of fact, it's so sweet, it makes your teeth ache. So, they wanted bread from God. Now, what happens when the bread rains from heaven, beloved? What is the bread we used to? The bread we eat is the body of Christ. And how do we eat bread, beloved? When we read from Genesis, God said to Adam, In the sweat of thy face thou wilt eat bread. In other words, we actually eat bread by working, by carrying our cross. Because when we eat bread by working, we become strong in spirit. But that's not what happened to Moses and, and Israel. The manna rained from heaven. How does that happen in our lives today, beloved? When I sit at home and I don't do the works of my Father, I'm not eating and I'm not strengthening my gift, Christ, within me. So when I sit at home and my brother comes from church and bring me the teachings that came from the altar, I am receiving manna because I'm not working for it. I'm just sitting at home and my brother comes and visits me. And what happened in church today? What was the service? And then when he gives me the bread or the priest gives me the bread, it rains from that heaven. I get it for free. We actually want to gather bread as well because God told them not to gather bread. How do we gather bread, beloved? We gather bread when we have something to eat, when we are fed with the evangelistic teachings of God. And now we think we know it all and we, we don't have to go to church anymore. We gather as much bread as we can so we don't go to church anymore. And that is not the way to do it, beloved. We eat bread by working. And let us elaborate on that a little bit. What happened at night? What did they eat at night? Meat, beloved. They ate meat at night. What does that mean? That means when it is day, I'm in the works of the Father. And at night, after my hours passed and I worked for God, now I've done my work for God. Now I can go into the world and enjoy myself. Now I want to eat meat. And how will we eat? ever save our souls in this way beloved first of all we have to work we have to work to eat that's the only way that the christ spirit within us will be strengthened i want to return to the day the bible makes it very clear beloved love thy father and thy mother and thy days will be lengthened what does that mean beloved we won't live a longer life if i honor my mother and my father that's not what it means. When I'm in the breaking of bread and when I'm with a community, the mother, or with God, the father, then I honor my mother and my father. I love my mother and my father because I spend my life with them. Let me give you an example. After I leave the church, that hour, it was day for that hour. Now, when I leave the church, it becomes night again. But when I go visit my brother and I share the teachings with him, 
it becomes day again. Because where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of thee. In other words, when I share this teaching with my brothers and sisters, I love my mother because my brother and my sisters are part of the body. They are part of the mother. They are part of the community. So I love my mother. I love my brothers and my sisters. And my day will be lengthened. The day within my heart, my days will be lengthened. Because instead of my day merely being one hour, and I visit my brother for another two hours, my day is lengthened. And that's what it means, beloved. When they were in the wilderness, during the day they got manna. Because when my brother comes and visits me, and he brings me the teachings, it's day. Yes. But remember one thing, beloved. They died of the manna. Nobody survived. Moses ate manna in the wilderness, but they all died. So we cannot live of manna, beloved, because we cannot be strengthened. We lame, we blind, we deaf, and we're not eating by working. Therefore, manna, beloved, is very dangerous. We have to work to eat bread. Thank you very much for listening, beloveds. God bless all of you. And please share and let us all unite in understanding. And if there's anything you do not understand, beloveds, please ask. And what I do not understand, we have an entire body from where all these truths can come to teach us and to build us and for all of us to unite in the body, Jesus Christ. God bless all of you. Thank you, beloved.